back to Our Issues Milwaukee. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. Last segment, we discussed the important issue of reckless driving with State Representative David Crowley. We'll now switch gears and discuss some new things that are happening at General Mitchell International Airport. Here to tell us everything we need to know is Pat Rowe. She serves as the Director of Air Service Development. How are you, Pat? Fine, thank you, Andrea. Thank you for being here. Uh, the Milwaukee Mitchell International Airport has introduced this new campaign and it's aimed to educate local travelers about the importance of starting their flights from Milwaukee. In other words, don't travel to the next state over to do your direct flight, right? Exactly. Okay, exactly. talk about this Choose MKE campaign. Okay, well, um, you know, it's important to understand that um, airlines add flights where people board flights. Mm -hmm. So if we if we start from right there, um, it, it informs the rest of what we need to do as a community to get more flights for Milwaukee. And we hear over and over <laughs> that Milwaukee needs more, you know, more air service, more flights. Um, so it's important that we understand that we have to use what we have and um, choose Milwaukee. Um, just like anything else, you know, if you if you um, drive right past your uh, mom and pop hardware store and you go to the big box all mm -hmm. the time, um, then your mom and pop doesn't thrive. Mm -hmm. So just like anything else, um, it's it's very important to understand that that our <clears throat> pardon me that our choice is what drives the addition of new flights. Okay, so we get the point. So a recent economic study showed that if Milwaukeeans choose Milwaukee over, let's say, a Chicago airport, we could, like you just said, add new flights, maybe even hundreds of new jobs, and then more than $200 million annually to Wisconsin's economy. That's mm -hmm. a pretty big deal in itself, but you've got people who are watching right now who are saying, hey, but if I'm going to go from point A straight to point B and not have to lay over or go clear across the country in order to go back to where I'm going, what do you say to that? Um, Exactly the way you put it. It's just, it's just <laughs> perfect. Um, you know, we ask people, um, well, if you say, well, I'm, I'm going to go um, nonstop to my destination, to look at the, the total trip time that it takes you, you know, if you're, if you're going to get up early and you're going to drive to Chicago Airport and you're going to board a flight to uh, Tucson, mm -hmm. um, we ask people to say, well, well let me think that through. If I get on the plane in Milwaukee, that saves me a lot of time in, in commuting. And I can uh, change planes in Salt Lake City and I can get to Tucson at the same time as, as I would have had I gotten up and you know, driven to So you're saying it's Chicago. just a different mentality. Uh, instead of saying I'm laying over two hours, you're traveling two hours yeah. to get to the next day. That's, that's what that's, you're saying. That's, that's exactly <laughs> it. And it's, it's, it is, it's a different way of thinking about it. Okay, you know, so a, we, we've tackled the concept of time mm -hmm. and I'm just really been, you know, the devil's advocate here. Mm -hmm. um, so how about tackling the money part of people feeling like they're saving money by, mm -hmm. you know, doing something different. Sure, um, and and I know that there are occasions when uh, there's a cheaper fare out of Chicago, and there are occasions when there's a cheaper fare out of Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. But we ask people to take a look at that, you know, to to for every trip, you know, to see um, does it work for you to to depart from Milwaukee, knowing that in doing so, you know, you're helping to bring in more flights mm -hmm. and you're helping to create jobs that support those flights and um, you are helping to uh, impact our economy. Yeah, um, and we, if people don't give that thought, then it doesn't matter, but that's why you're here today yes. to kind of give that information so you plant the seed mm -hmm. knowing that if you fly out of Milwaukee, you are making a difference. Mm -hmm. I don't think a lot of people realize that um, property taxes and things of that nature do not go into the day-to-day -day operations of the airport. You mm -hmm. guys are 
really basically operating off of the money that you generate. That's that's absolutely true. We um, the airport is entirely supported by user fees. Mm -hmm. Everything from construction to um, the salary for the security team, and yeah, it's it's entirely supported by people who use the airport. Yeah, so, so you've given yeah. us a different way of looking at things for sure. Yeah. So uh, this campaign, are people going to be seeing little things here and there to remind them to fly MKE? Well, you know, we wanted to make it um, interesting and fun because, uh, you know, it's important to just kind of grab it somebody's attention and, and <laughs> you know, and, and help them to look at something from a different perspective. Um, and, and we have heard people say, well, you know, thank you for presenting it this way mm -hmm. because I just never thought of it. Right. Um, so, um, you know, and it, it's, um, there, there are several points that we make, you know, that we um, address that we hear people talk about. Probably the ones that I brought up today. <laughs> you brought up today, <laughs> yes. exactly. So you yeah. present this with animated videos and uh, what other kind of information will be available to people? Well, it, it all, they all, the video vignettes all conclude with the same information. Um, the, the new flights, um, 600 new jobs, and more than $200 million to Wisconsin's economy. Um, you know, certainly achieving all of that is, is probably not realistic because that's like if everybody stopped going to Chicago and <laughs> used a Wisconsin airport. But, um, you know, we can, we can get partially there and we can create demand for more flights and, and we can create demand for the jobs and the economic impact okay. with our behavior. So there was a lot of talk about Midwest Express Airlines making a comeback to Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. And I'm one of those people I was really excited mm -hmm. because, you know, they had that tagline, the best care in the air. Yeah. And I'm not trying to do any endorsements, mm -hmm. but I mean, the chocolate chip cookies and all mm -hmm. that good stuff, mm -hmm. you know, you come to miss that. Yes. So what's the latest on Midwest Airlines coming back to town? Well, Midwest Express, uh, they did make an announcement in August. Um, mm -hmm. They've selected their first markets out of Milwaukee, which would be Grand Rapids, Cincinnati, and Omaha. Okay. And they are in the process of uh, making an agreement with an air airline, an air service provider. So um, they have all of those things lined up. I think next up for them is going to be announcing a, a schedule of mm -hmm. when the flights will take place, um, putting them up for sale, you know, how much are they going to be. So um, it's a process, I, basically. It is. Yeah. And, and um, you know, we, we talk because um, it's important for Milwaukee to have nonstop service to those markets. And mm -hmm. those were um, a couple of the markets that we lost when Midwest Express. Um, really, you know, it was a long story, but they were eventually absorbed into what became Frontier Airlines. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we all remember that yes. scenario. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, I think it is good news yes. to have them coming yeah. back in this capacity. Yes, but I right now, too. Mitchell International offers nonstop flights to 40 destinations, mm -hmm. coast to coast, mm -hmm. and 160 international destinations are available from Milwaukee with just one connection. So mm -hmm. uh, that's important for people to remember as well. So there are two places they can go for more information uh, on the Choose MKE campaign. You have a website, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And that is exactly? Uh, um, MitchellAirport.com and that takes you actually, there's a link right there that takes you to Fly MKE. Fly MKE. Fly okay. MKE. Dot com. Yes. There yeah. it is. Okay. Yeah. So in my research, um, I've talked about uh, learning that the airport is entirely funded by user fees. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you guys do capital improvements and all those things, mm -hmm. you're not getting any grants or funding. It is what it is. So mm -hmm. uh, speaking of improvements, uh, the food court will be converted to a fresh marketplace with grab and go options. People need to know that. Mm -hmm. And then you're relocating the Mitchell Gallery of Flight Museum, right? Yes, yes, exactly. Um, it's it, it's really important to keep up with um, new trends in food and beverage and people's tastes change <laughs> over time, as you well know. You know yeah, but everybody's still looking for coffee. <laughs> that, that, that's right, and comfort food. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about that. So yeah. uh, that's something people can be on the lookout for. Yes. And then you have some new food and beverage brands mm -hmm. that have already opened at the airport with more to come, right? Yes. Talk about yes. that. 
Well, we're so happy to introduce some local brands. Um, Cousin Subs just opened, um, and it, it just it, it's really important to offer a mix of local foods um, and the national and, chains. And the national yeah. chains. Yeah, I'm, and you get actually, you know, half half the people are looking for. Well, what's unique to our area? And you know, we have North Point custard and. Uh, Nona Bartolatas and Pizzeria Piccola, all of which are local brands. Mm -hmm. And we have um, on the other side, you know, we've got uh, Chili's and, you know, kind of the national brands that, that other people find mm -hmm. comforting um, because they know the menu. They are, they've been there before, they, they know what to expect, yeah. Starbucks. But it's food. nice for people who are coming in and maybe laying over to get a feel for Wisconsin and what we love exactly. on a daily basis. Exactly. So uh, you've got the Miller Valley Market mm -hmm. that's going to be making its way through Bronzeville Crossing mm -hmm. and then the Summerfest Marketplace. Uh, so all of that, of course, has mm -hmm. that local pizzazz yes. to it. Uh, yes. uh, so that was very important for you all to do. I'm interested, mm -hmm. the Bronzeville Crossing, what is that all about? Um, the, um, you know, the, the concept is, um, is, is always going to be um, what, is, what is unique and special about the community mm -hmm. and, and, and what can we offer to people. Um, it's, it's just, a, I think it's just a response to the, um, the change in um, what people want to see, what, yeah. what represents the city that yes. you're that you're embracing what we have to offer. Exactly. I love that. Exactly. But I, I, I gotta yeah. tell you, I had to look twice. I was like, Spanx? Huh? That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> if you ever forget to pack some, you can get them at yeah, the airport. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. Yes, the last yes. thing I wanted to talk yeah. about, Pat. Um, General Mitchell International Airport is one of the region's major economic drivers and an exciting area of growth. So it's safe to say there will be plenty of flights coming through Milwaukee uh, when the DNC makes its way here next summer. Yes. Um, so how is that going to make a difference for the bottom line? Um, the, the DNC, the Ryder Cup, it was just announced that uh, Milwaukee has the um, the age group triathlon <laughs> championship coming in. Uh, the American Society of Travel Writers is, is having its conference here. Um, it's just, it, it's going to be an amazing summer yes, in Milwaukee. Yes, very busy summer. Yes, yeah. and part of my job is um, making sure that all of the airlines know what's coming up because um, in many cases they'll say, well, you know, we've got to get in there with some more seats, mm -hmm. some more flights, um, so that we make sure that we serve that market. So um, everything that we can do to make sure that our airlines, um, what they, their service now is supported is going to um, bring us more service in the future. Well, thank you so much for coming by. I've learned a lot today. Well, thank you. And uh, I hope that people take heed to everything that you've said and they thank decide you. to choose MKE. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Pat Rowe is the Director of Air Service Development at General Mitchell International Airport. And for more information on anything that we've discussed, you can go to mitchellairport.com. That is gonna do it for today's show. I'm your host, Andrea Williams, as always. Thank you for watching and I do Hope you join us again next week as we take another look at our issues, Milwaukee. Have a great day.